What's up guys, we're back here with yet another riveting episode. And I've got another heater review for you. Okay, so for those of you that are new here, my quest is to find uh, low power draw, uh, space saving, lightweight, and overall just really nice heaters to keep my ass warm during the cold weather. Well, the problem is, is that most of the heaters that you're going to find in most big box stores, whether they be Walmart, Target, you know, Sam's Club, or, you know, whatever. It doesn't even matter. Most of them are made for the house. Uh, that was one of the main reasons why they started putting propane uh, on these campers is because they knew, like, this is before, like, campgrounds were a really big thing. Most American families went out into the woods all by themselves, no hookups, and they needed some way to keep themselves warm when there weren't any hookups. Well, welcome to 2019. Now we have solar systems, and we've got a lot of them, too. We can for the most part, be pretty damn self-sufficient in almost everything, except when it comes to our heating and cooling. And that is our biggest challenge. So while I have uh, explored some 12 volt options, I'm also exploring some lower power draw AC powered options for those instances where you might be mooch docking or at a campground and you don't want to pop your breaker or whatever because you're on 30 amp service like me. And this is where this guy comes in. This is uh, another Solil, I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's a Solil ceramic heater. But what I liked about this one is that it's 350 watts. Now, if you remember uh, the one from a couple of videos ago, uh, it was 250 watts. So this one's actually a little bit more powerful, uh, a little bit smaller, and, and it doesn't take up any floor space. So you don't actually have to worry about knocking it down. It literally plugs right into an outlet and actually has not only a digital readout, but a thermostat on it. Also, it's got uh, an overheat safety fuse, cool touch exterior, which I have verified. 350 watts, uh, thermostat control, LED display, power indicator light. It's not bad. So if you have like a really small space, maybe like a van, and you've actually run some AC power outlets, this might be a good option. Maybe you are uh, doing uh, the teardrop thing, or maybe you're doing like a Winnebago uh, mini drop or something like that. You know, 16, 17, maybe all the way up to like 19 feet. If you got, uh, I don't know, maybe three or four of these and place them around the whole thing, like I think it would basically come out to roughly 1400 watts. You know, if you had four of them at 350 watts, that would be 1400 watts. It would take, I don't know, 11 or so, maybe 11 and a half amps total to run all of them, but it's not gonna take up any of your floor space and you're not gonna have to run cables and wires everywhere. So here she is. Uh, it's an all black unit. I do think they make a white one, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, I picked it up at Walmart and it's basically just uh, a one switch here on the left hand side. This is the main on and off and it has a rotatable three prong plug. Okay, so it's not a two pronger. This is actually a, a grounded plug. Uh, and if you push this button, you can actually turn the plug itself up or down depending on the configuration of your uh, outlet. These are the fan vents. It is a, it's a really small fan. I've been playing around with it for the last two days and I think it's okay. Uh, like I said, it does have the thermostat control on it. So it's got temperature up, temperature down. It's also, this is the digital power button. Uh, and it also has a timer on it too, which is really good. But the thing that I want you to keep in mind is like heat rises. And if this is already on a wall, you know, let's just assume that you don't have it plugged in down low, like close to the ground or whatever. Uh, like if I have mine plugged up over here on the wall, like, and the fan is not very good, it might get out about a foot and then the heat's just going to start rising straight up toward the ceiling. So... I think this is a very situational style heater. Um, I did plug it in to uh, my solar system. Well, not my solar system. I've just had it plugged up here to the Energy Kodiak, which uh, I recharge off solar. And uh, because it's 350 watts, obviously you divide that by 12 and you'll find out what the amp draw is. And that is on 120 volts. So whatever runs on 120 volts, if you're running on a 12 volt system, you have to times that by 10. So this was roughly three amps to run in the house or on one of these AC power plugs. But 
drawing from a 12 volt battery, it took 30 amps. So you're talking 30 amps per hour to run this little guy. The fan's not very good, uh, but it is a ceramic heater. Uh, it does have a thermostat. Like I said, I think this is a very situational item. If you happen to be in a very, very small space, or maybe this would be really good for a bathroom where you don't want you know, a cable or wires running all over the place, this might be something to actually take a look at and consider. So while it may not be the best uh, particular choice in your particular situation, but it is like twelve and a half dollars. Some heat is better than no heat. So if you do happen to be in a very small space, like I said, if you happen to uh, be in like a teardrop style, most of those will have, I don't know, three, maybe four uh, AC outlets. And you can take three or four of those and just place them in small concentrated areas. Maybe put one in the bathroom, one right next to your bed, one right next to the place you sit uh, at your dinette, something like that, and actually keep all of the wires up off the floor. With the traditional space heaters, you're constantly trying to make sure that you don't trip over the wires and they've got the safety switches on the bottom. So you're constantly stressed out and worried if you're gonna kick it over or knock it over and it's gonna land on something, catch fire. All that is kind of eliminated. So uh, I've got one really good space heater, electric one, uh, but I mean, it cost me like 60 bucks. So I could get four or five of those little ones you know, spread them throughout and not have to worry about kicking it over. But I've already spent the money on my good ones. I'm not re-upping just because. I just wanted to do this review for you guys. So long story short, pretty good for very small spaces. Maybe if you combine one or two and you're mooch docking and you have a hookup and you don't like wires running all over the place, this might be something you'd want to consider. Otherwise, uh, I just don't think it's there yet. At any rate, thanks so much for watching yet another riveting absolutely riveting episode here on the Avion Awesome channel. I'm your host, Mark Puckett, and I'm going to see you guys again on the next one. Peace.